So you know how in Smash Ultimate, there's a few final smashes that will bring you to the top of the screen, hit you for a while, and then spike you to the bottom of the screen, hopefully KOing you. Well, here I'm going to teach a little thing where you can cancel the knockback. Yes, I actually mean it. You can just ignore getting hit by certain ones of these final smashes, but only a few of them. So remember how when Pac-Man is spiked over his trampoline, or when anyone else is spiked over it, the trampoline will usually just negate the knockback. Now sometimes it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure that that happens because you go through it in a single frame, and this can't happen if you bounce on a floor and the trampoline is on the floor. So how do you do this? Well, it turns out it's pretty simple. All you have to do is place a trampoline just before the player gets spiked over it. Now, of course, there's never going to be anything like this without any drawbacks. And the biggest one is that you can't save yourself with this. You can only save someone else. However, someone else includes your teammate even when team attack is off. Another important one is that it only works on some of these kinds of final smashes, and it's often difficult to remember which ones it works on. In general, if the Final Smash spikes you into the trampoline, then it will work, but if it drags you into the trampoline, it won't. This means that it will work for Greninja's, Robin's, and Mii Brawler's Final Smashes, but won't work for Ike's or Cloud's, 